Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Kendall and I'm a first year senior at Western Michigan University. So for today's video, I wanted to go ahead and do a little what I make in a week as a server. So I am a server at Applebee's. This was actually only my second official week working there. And I figured what better time to do it than when I'm still learning and, and figuring everything out. So I have all of my notes here on my little iPad. So we're just kind of going to go through day by day how everything went, what I made and whatnot. Alright guys, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and show you a basic overview of what the floor plan of the Applebee's I work at looks like. So right now I'm just going through and drawing out all of the booths and tables. And then from there I can actually break it down into each individual section. Alright, so in the middle we have the bar. And then each section I'm going to have a, be a different color. So this is our four chart. And then next, I'm going to be breaking it up into what we call our seven chart. Once again, each section will be a different color. So if you ever hear me refer to a four or seven chart, this is what I will be referring to. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. So if I'm referring to different sections, I just refer back to that if you need to. Starting off on the 14th, which was Valentine's Day, obviously. So I worked in section four that day. I worked from 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. And I made a total of $220. Um, that's after tip out for our hosts. So the second section chart that I showed you was what we call our seven chart. That's normally what we would have if we're having a busy day, if we have a lot of servers on. So we were supposed to be on a seven chart, but with me being in section four, I was supposed to be splitting that with between myself and section seven. I don't think there was even a section seven person. So I was the only server that whole night that had a full section that wasn't like split up between like two people, if that makes sense. Needless to say, that was really stressful. I got double, triple sat sometimes even because everybody else's sections would be full. And obviously I had a whole section to myself and, and so I had a lot of tables open at once but everybody else's sections would be full. So that's kind of why I got double or triple sat sometimes. Um, it was also just a really stressful night because we were super busy. Um, there was a lot going on. Obviously it's a holiday. You have everybody going out to celebrate. It was just a lot going on. I did have one family walk out on an $80 tab. That counts against me, even though I didn't like do anything, if that makes sense. But so that did happen. And then I got stiffed on five different tabs with either it being I got no tip or like a one to two dollar tip on like 60 to 80 dollar tabs. All in all, it was a long night, but I can't really complain too much because I made decent money. Next is the 16th, which was Friday. I did a Friday night close. So I worked in section one on Friday. I worked from 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. So I made $141 that night after tip out. We were once again on a seven chart, so I had a split section this time, but it pretty much stayed full for most of my shift but I did get stiffed a lot and I got a lot of like small tips which is why I didn't like make as much that night but that night wasn't as stressful because I had a lot less tables I had to take care of. Next is Saturday the 17th. I actually worked a double that day so in the morning I was section two and then at night I was section five so I stayed in like the same area the whole night or the whole day which was nice so I worked from 11 a.m to 10 15 p.m and I made 255 dollars that night which was really nice 
It was a really long double. I was on my feet the entire time. This was my first double at Applebee's actually, and I'd say it was pretty successful. Like it wasn't bad, but once again, I did have a lot of people stiff me and leave me some small tips. Um, I did also have a big table leave without paying part of their tab, which was lovely. Um, but on the flip side, I also had a couple of very nice tables who took me very well. So those tables just kind of made up for my bad tables per se. And then the last night was Sunday the 18th. I was back in section one that day and I worked from 4 to 11.30 because we actually close at 11 on Sundays. Normally we close at midnight every other day. I made $110 that night. Um, it was really slow. So there wasn't really like a constant flow of customers. I would either be like super, not like super busy. I would be like busy at times and then there'd be other times where I'd have like one table at a time. So it just kind of depended, but I also did have a couple of larger tables. I had a couple like six, seven, eight top tables, which I like having big tables. They kind of forced me to be more on top of my game than normal because obviously there's more people you're taking care of, more things you have to keep straight. They went out. did have a group of teenage boys. We had an all you can eat special on like boneless wings, riblets, double crunch shrimp. And they were coming in looking for that and it ended like a week or two ago and one of them said something along the lines of i drove a really long way to get here can you just do us a favor and i couldn't because they literally took the button away from the computer so even if i wanted to ring it in i couldn't and so I told them i couldn't and then the whole time they were just like making jokes about it every time they would look at me they would laugh at me and when they went to order the first guy started out he said something like yeah i'll get the normal boneless wings and then that just became a thing with the rest of them and when i went back to check on them i asked if they needed anything and one of them was like oh yeah he's ready for his next round like meaning like his next round of boneless wings and then they all just like started laughing and i was like do you actually need anything and they're like no so i left went and focused on my other tables and then checked back and they were like we're ready for the checks and i was like okay we're we doing all separate they're like yes so i bring them their checks um they all paid in cash but uh, one guy who made the comment about having to drive a really long way, his bill was like 18, almost $19 or something. And he gave me $20 and a penny. And he said, I would like my change please, but you can keep the penny. And so I just thought that was super immature and frankly, slightly disrespectful to me. But also at the same time, they're teenage boys. Like, what else am I to expect? But the other two were super nice about it. It was a boys will be boys kind of situation, I suppose. But other than that, I didn't really have any issues on Sunday. So in total, I made $726 over the course of almost 36 hours, which came out to roughly $20.30 an hour, which is pretty good. Most of that money is going towards my car payment this week. So that's super exciting. But I don't know, ever since I got into the service industry or hospitality, whatever you want to call it, I've enjoyed it. Obviously it can be stressful like any other job, and, but obviously I am still a full-time student and <laughs> working a lot can still be super stressful just like it would be for anyone else. I don't have any real complaints about being a server. I honestly love it a lot and it's really nice if, if you want that instant gratification. What were you doing? Oh, okay, sorry. Overall, it was a decent weekend. It was definitely long with that double in there, but I don't think that'll be a constant for me, which is perfectly fine with me. But if you guys want me to take you guys along with me through a work night, just let me know down in the comments and I can see what I can do about that. Okay. <laughs>
but with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end out this week's video here thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye